I jumped out of war here, and today we've got a new Saving Your Disaster campaign. Playing as Kolex Sun Eater on Mortal Empires for Warhammer 2. Uh, he's got himself into a really bad position where there's not a whole lot I can do to change this, the, his, his initial luck here. Um, he's got a he push force march up to here. He's allied with um, Clan Mulder. But... This action does not have my consent. Doesn't look good. Anyway, I'll read the email out to you guys so you guys get a little bit of context for what he said. So this is not on legendary difficulty. Uh, it's on normal difficulty, I believe. But even on normal difficulty, this is this is bad. Anyway, so this is what he says. Hey man, see if you can save my disaster campaign. I made a shitty move and I have to defeat four armies during turn change. I can deal with the first three waves, but not the fourth. Thanks so much. So on and so forth. Anyway. So. What are we going to do about this? So I believe Balthazar Gelt's going to force march up here. Uh, and then there's these... That's that's not really a full army, so it's more like three armies in total. The first two armies. It's also a normal unit scale, which means... Basically, the smaller the unit scale, the more important single entity units become. Uh, and the less important uh, actual infantry units I'm become, so my, these. No. So dealing with them might, might not be too difficult. We're also in force march, you got to keep that in mind. Let's have a look here. This isn't going to do anything. Because he's not attached to the army. And he's got no movement left. God of mountains. So you've also got Clan Mulder here. I think what he tried to do is force march over here to try to support his ally. But I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what was going through his mind to get into this position here. Like, why did he get here? I mean, obviously he admits he made a shitty move. Fair enough. But what could we do to try to... Okay, I have an idea. I don't know if this will work. I don't know. It all depends on the turn, turn rotation. This guy here, nah, he's not going to do it. I'm just thinking if I could get him over here so that he can support us in this battle, that would be really useful. Because he can't, can't withdraw and there's no more Regiment of Renown available. This is it. Because we've only got 19 units and I can't recruit anything. I can't build anything and I can't run away. Can't get peace. Nope. Can't negotiate with that faction. So basically, I have... <laughs> there's nothing I can do but fight this battle and somehow win. Let's see how we go. Yeah, so their, their turn times came before everyone else's, so I couldn't bring them in. I was hoping I could get away from guilt, but I guess not. Now, he said he could beat this army, but when, when I, I'm guessing... Actually, it's probably not going to be Karl Franz, it'll be the other army, the, the one from Ostermark. So not only do we need to win this battle, but we need to win it really well. How would we go about that? Definitely cheese, no doubt about it. What's the map look like? There's nothing particularly special about the terrain. Low ground over here, minor high ground there, and there's a bit in the middle. Alright, how much cavalry do they have? Based on this, they've got one unit of pistol ears. That's it. Alright, I've got three units of Marauder Horsemen. The thing is, when you're outnumbered, we have to find a way to divide and conquer. We've got to weaken them a little bit before we get into melee. We can beat them in melee, right? Even though we're outnumbered. It's only a normal difficulty, so... I don't have to worry about legendary difficulty buffs. So that's something. But we have to keep in mind that there's going to be another battle right after this. So I've got to come up with a plan. Planning is very important. If you don't plan, you're planning to fail. Uh, taking out their ammunition could work. What's his missile resistance? 25, okay. And this guy here is a shadow wizard. I don't know what level he is. I could have checked. 
Chaos Spawn Dragon Ogres. Mm. Alright, well, let's just get into this and we'll do the best I can. I don't I don't claim to be a great chaos player, so. Could be tricky. We do have a mobility advantage, so there's that. And Balthazar Guilt is on Force March, so there's that to consider as well. Reinforcements are coming from here and there. These guys... Like, I could harass them to begin with. Like I said, it's the, it's the monsters and stuff that's going to be the backbone of our army here. I'm going to... I've got to... I've got to fuck around a bit. If I go straight into this army here, like, just go charging right into them before they're properly come onto the battlefield, we can, I think, is that Gelt's army? Don't know. Don't know which one's Gelt's army is going to be. That could be the small one, for all I know. I, th I get a feeling that that is Gelt. No, no, no. This would be Gelt because that's coming in from the south. Sa Gelt is in the south. That's the smaller army right there. I'll never get to Gelt in time. But I can get to this one and take it out. So this guy here, he's not on... Okay, he's on foot. That means if... The, the if Gelt is coming from there, they wanna get, they're want going to want to get together. Standing on the low ground here shouldn't matter too much. But this will be the furthest distance away. That'll buy us the most amount of time. Okay, all my fast units I'm going to need for taking out this... What I think is going to be a small force. Alright. See how we go. Oh wow, we get to keep the map. <laughs> get them. So yeah, I was right. This is not Gelt's force. Move on them. They've been wanting to get their forces together. And whilst it's it's not a huge win to just take out these guys here, it's better than nothing. Shooting those halberdiers. Okay, that's enough of that. Kill him. Might as well. Alright, they're all shattered. That's good. Now, Kolek. Let's try and mess these guys around a little bit. You're pretty fast, but you're also big, so dodging shots is going to be difficult. I don't see Gelt's forces there yet. Alright, just, just let... Just stay back in there and have a little bit of a rest. There's Gelt's forces, and they're exhausted. Now, killing this general here would be very valuable. Like These pistoliers are going to be a pain. He had some kind of regeneration. So he... 
Boris Toddbringer's gone quite a fair distance out on his own. If we could get after him, I mean, only only the uh, Pistoliers would be able to catch up to us. I need to get the Pistoliers away from their other crossbowmen, because the crossbowmen will just destroy our Marauder Horsemen. Okay, there we go. Let's get in there, take out those Pistoliers. Now, these two, we need them to take out the enemy missile units. Now, on legendary difficulty, I, I normally wouldn't even bother trying to kill the enemy general because it just doesn't do anything. But on normal difficulty, that's an entirely different story. Keep killing him. Let's get rid of these missile units. Okay, he's down. So if you look at that, Lord died recently. Now we come in here and try to break these these motherfuckers. So that'll eventually go down to a minus ten penalty as opposed to a you guys can start coming up here now. Like I said, dividing and conquer, conquering. We have to find a way to get them to separate their forces. Speaking of which, if we're going to separate their forces, go wide. So he's got a few missile units in there. Horseman, you get out of there. Make sure they shatter. So, Gelt's taking quite a bit of damage. What did I say? Did I say Gelt or did I say Kolek? Fuck man, I meant Kolek. If that one comes back, it's not good. Right, so Kolek's taken the most damage out of the army so far, except for that unit there, it's taken a little bit. He's keeping his army together, but he doesn't have that much. So that's that's two armies defeated, essentially. Make sure you run them down. And this one here is on Force March. This is a good start so far, I think. Alright, what do we got here? Let's get some magic down. The Penumbral Pendulum. Okay, let's do that. Alright, everyone get back from here. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Chaos is magic. I don't know if this is gonna work, we'll see. Not the best with shadow magic. Oh! Holy shit! That did so much damage. Of course, because it doesn't scale properly on normal unit scale. Okay, you guys go back. We want to put down another one of those. How long do we have? A few more seconds. Free company militia, not a big deal. Damn! 
He's doing all the work for us. <laughs> so, I'm guessing the people are always going on about, Oh, Shadow Magic, it's so good! They're playing on smaller unit scales. Because I'm, I'm always playing on huge unit scales. And, so, it just I guess it just depends on what you play on. He's winning the battle for us, but that's that's the end of our magic, pretty much. But that's okay. That did that did amazingly well. Now we charge in. Okay, avoid. Don't worry about this stuff over here. So if they're separated from their main force, good for them. As in, bad for them though. Let's get in over here and kill Geld. Just ignore them. Bounce of power is looking good. I didn't even—I haven't looked. I never look at the bounce of power these days because bloody legendary difficulty. So his magic's just as bloody good. That's what the masters bid. We want their eyes. So be it. Could have been using fireball, but I'd much rather him get into melee and smash guilt up. Chaos sorcerer. So the thing is with this SYDC, right, is if I don't win the, these two battles, because this one and then the next one, assuming there's going to be a next one, they might not even do this because this went so well. Well, I don't know how well he did in his previous fight, so I guess we'll find out. But if we don't win these, he is as a faction, he's dead. A little bit of damage done to the Chaos Warhounds, I'm not that happy about, but we've won the battle. We don't need to run them down because these guys here all die. Because we're on Force Marsh. Now, he said that he was able to win this battle easily enough, but it's the next one that's gonna that, that fucks him up. So let's let's see what that's gonna be like. Close? How the fuck was that close? We took them by the balls, pulled down their pants, and smacked them over the ass with a wooden spoon. That was, I won't say it was easy, but we smashed them in that fight. Maybe it's because Kolek is, is represented so much of the bounce of power and he did take quite a bit of damage. Damn, that's a lot of money. I'll, I'll go with kill captives because I think we're going to need as much leadership as possible in the next fight. So I'm assuming it's going to be this guy here that attacks us. I don't know though. Could be Carl Franz. You don't have to deal with the force wave if you do a really good job on that one. So there we go. He didn't even have to fight. They were just like, fuck this, Legend of Total War is here. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> run run for your life. The cheese god has arrived. The most powerful of the chaos gods. The fifth one. Cheese for the cheese god. So there we go. We actually survived the turn there. God of well, well, well. There you go. Got a lot of money. I, I gotta wonder at this point, because it's only on normal difficulty, do we even need to keep keep going? Um, like, disaster's been averted. Like, you don't expand as a, 
as Chaos. We got him his bailout. Um, he's got a good number of allies. He se actually seems to have... Let me have a look here. Even, yeah, they're all, all his allies. He was just in a bad position right there. That's it. This world! Direct me, Dark Gods! And we, you even managed to save them. I cannot. Volkmar the Grim. Fool. Why take an attrition? Marshlands, right. I refuse. Well, this will uh, defeating him will help clean it up. I just don't want to resolve it, it'll be fine. Yeah, I, we're done. We're done. I, I don't need to spend an hour and a half on this. It's only on normal difficulty. It, we're done. Okay, well guys, uh, that's the end of this SYDC. It was more like a last stand, wasn't it? But I was fully prepared to, to deal with two battles, but that other one just went so well. Anyway, dude, your uh, campaign is saved. I mean, both uh, Karl Franz and Wolfram Hrtvig is running for their damn lives. I would highly recommend being very careful about where you force march in future, and remember that if you are over, over outnumbered, that dividing and conquering is your best best opportunity. Kolek is a, is a superpower when it comes down to killing enemy lords, and it worked out really well for us. Anyway, that's the end of this one, and we'll see you next time, fuckers.